In this session, we'll be talking about the details of zoological parks. Now, zoological parks are also ex situ conservation strategy. I've already told you about what is ex situ conservation. One method in ex situ conservation we also talked about was botanical garden, where we conserve the plants, the living plants. This is also conservation. You always remember conservation and preservation are two different terms. What did we do in herbaria was preservation. What are we doing in botanical gardens and zoological park is conservation. What are we doing is we are taking out the animals from their natural habitats and place them in a boundary where that is that particular boundary becomes uh, open for the excretion of people like you must be going to zoos in your city now zoo or zoological parks are ex situ conservation when you talk about say national parks you must have heard about kaziranga national park which is very famous for one horned rhinoceros now that particular national park is the boundary which is given in the natural environment for the rhinos we have not taken out the rhinos to any of the boundaries and we have like tried putting them under the zoos and all so national parks they are in situ conservation when you talk about zoological parks they are ex situ conservation here wild animals are protected in a fixed environment and that remains ideal for their food habit and behavior you can study about the food habits of animals you can also about the behavior of animals these places are open for public recreational activities some of the famous zoological parks are national zoological garden south africa one of the biggest zoological parks in world and one of the biggest zoological parks zoo in india it's at delhi which is national zoological park in the next session we'll be giving you about the details of museum